Court is now in session. The Honorable Judge Marilyn Leon is presiding. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, you Douglas. You are very welcome. It is good to see you six feet away. <laughs> <laughs> Glad to have you back home for you. Thank you, sir. You're very welcome. I'm sorry. Give me a moment. It is so good to see you. <laughs> And it's good to see you. The People's Court is back. Judge Marilyn Millian has a brand new season from inside the courtroom and has a new time to watch it right here on Fox 5. Judge Millian joins us from Stanford, Connecticut. Good morning. Good morning to you guys. How well, are you? Order in the courtroom right now, <laughs> Judge. All the time. All the time. It's what I live for. So you're back in Connecticut. I mean, I did love seeing you at home with your husband. Yeah, you know, that had its advantages. It's kind of be careful what you ask for because I, I, I really wanted to come back. Um, but yeah, it's, it's good to be back, though. It's good to see people in person, even if it is this far away. Um, and we have all kinds of interesting things happening in the courtroom, although we don't have the litigants or the audience back for obvious reasons. At least, you know, we're back. I'm here, John's here, Douglas is here, and we're uh, ready to roll. And you have a new slime uh, new time slot. I have a new slime top too, but and yes. that too, yes. <laughs> Four o'clock. <laughs> Woo! I love this show. On September 27th. You you, you watch this yeah, show, absolutely. right? Absolutely, I love it. I just love the drama. <laughs> You love the drama. <laughs> and don't you always love that Judge Millian always looks good? Always. It's oh, the hair for me. Thank you. Thank that you. Radiant thank you. That's, hopper, that's I love a it. very nice compliment. <laughs> always shiny. Always shining. So um, we have a clip of the new season. Let's take a look at you in action. Three of our daughters sing. All right, who's the best? No, uh, no, no I'm <laughs> telling you, they all they all really do have the voices of angels. Right. It's the weirdest thing because you and I cannot carry a tune. No. We I, do well, not know where they get it from. No. And all three of them sing. They're, they've all been in bands. They've all been, at two, the two older ones who went through college were in a cappella groups. It's it's really quite strange that they all sang. sing. In any no, I mean, I sing. sing. Look, you just don't want to hear me sing. You know, when I was a kid, my parents wanted me to sing tenor. 10 or 12 miles away, so nobody could hear me. <laughs> <laughs> but, and also, they wanted me to sing solo. Yeah, solo, you could barely hear it. Exactly, <laughs> good job. Wow. Marilyn, I have to ask you, um, I heard your husband had a bit of a health scare. How is he doing? He's doing well. He's doing well. That was a couple of years ago, and he has zero deficit. Amazing. But, um, and it's kind of fun to be working with your husband. That's kind of, a, you know, it's a, it's a new thing. We're together all the time. <laughs> so do you want me to take you back there to after the verdict? You want, you want to see our set back there? Yeah, yes, of course. Absolutely. All right, let's do it. Come all right, let's me. say, oh, what? This is good. This is a walk and talk. Wow. It is a walk and talk. So <laughs> let me just show you. This is where the, how the litigants appear. They, they have their own. You know, they're in their homes, and then we, uh, through, through the miracle of, of computers, they are here in the courtroom with us. Then, after I rule, I come right through here, which, of course, you guys recognize. Right. This is the, uh, you know, I often call it the den of thieves, but, of course, it's the den of, of great advice from all of our prior judges. And sometimes I just listen and kind of try to get, you know, their clues on what I should do, and this is the after the verdict. So, oh, look who's oh, there! Oh, hello. Uh, yes. Hans is there. Oh, you remember the girls, Roseanne? So oh, I look, do. And they're way bigger than that now, but that that's uh, an old family picture from here. And what else have we got? Um, well, we've got this addition to the set, which rocks. And then, uh, oh, this is... Our first Emmy win. Um, Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, not to brag, but uh, that should be a bigger picture, by the way. Judge, uh, did you hear what, what Chris said? <laughs> that should be what a much bigger say? picture for that Emmy win. He said you need a bigger picture for that. <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> that's that was not just only so a judge, but very <laughs> stylish. Received it, so I was so happy. That smile is busting my ears open, but. I'm, I'm happy that the Hubs is coming back for the new season. I wasn't uh, sure. It's been a lot of fun, believe me. Very nice. Okay, now I know we have a clip. Um, I think it's called After the Verdict. Yes. Do you want to set that up for us? Well, so what we do is we discuss two different things. Viewer questions on the law and then viewer questions on our personal lives, which, uh, you know, 
Right. That's where, you know, being with this woman for 31 years, I know where all the bodies are buried. So yeah, yes. kind of open up a little curtain onto some things that, uh, that things that maybe the curtain shouldn't be open. <laughs> Oh, that's why we love watching you. <laughs> so I, I guess, Chris, maybe do you want to ask a hair question to the judge? I mean, is that okay? Is that off limits? Would that be called? Uh... No, that's fine. <laughs> can, I, can I go there? Uh, first of all, I have yes, to say you look very there. stylish. I, I love that. My I love natural hair color since I was 14. You've not colored your hair? You've been coloring your hair since you were 14? Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I thought you were a natural redhead. Well, that's yeah. my question out the window then. <laughs> How do you keep that red? That's amazing. Um, I feel yeah, like, like your hair, week, the one thing weeks. I'm really yeah. surprised about right now is that so many people are not having hair and makeup in studios. Me and Rosanna were having a conversation. She's been doing her own hair, her own makeup. It's very real. I was helping her with her eyelash just during the break because <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of winging off and waving well, at me. When we were home and taping from home, I was doing my own hair and makeup, which actually finally after, you, you would think that after 20 years I would pay attention, but I've never paid attention. And exactly. then I had to pay attention. And so, you know what? It, 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 it was actually it, really if fun. You never wore makeup, and all of a sudden you're doing your own hair and makeup. Well, you saw him, that's not you. <laughs> I kind of love that everyone just got so hands on. I know. But now, Judge Millian, do you have your team back, everybody back in place? Yes, at we do have our team back in places. It's nice to, to just veg while someone's doing this. Um, and I don't believe that I ever really quite mastered this as well as our team has. So, so it's, uh, yeah, it was, it was kind of tough to be at, at. It was great to be home and take from home. It was an, an amazing, it was just m m like an amazing marvel that they were able to put all those pieces together technologically to be able to do it from home um, and not skip a beat, not, not miss any cases, keep the season going um, and just keep bringing, you know, home the justice here. But I was my own uh, wardrobe person, my own makeup person, my own, I had a mic myself, which I always got wrong. The dog would interrupt. The dog would interrupt. The guests would show up. The you know, gardeners would be like, ah, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what made it fun to watch, too. Judge Mil Milian, always great to see you. Thank you, everybody. All right, so we're going to watch the People's Court, 4 o'clock, right here on Fox 5. Okay, thank you.